Nevada Barr's short story, Deep South, is a poignant account of the relationship between two estranged sisters, set against the backdrop of the Deep South of America. The author creates an atmospheric and immersive portrayal of the region, evoking its harshness and beauty with equal measure, while also exploring the themes of family, memory, and loss. The story is narrated in the first person by the elder sister, who is revisiting the region after many years of absence. Through her eyes, the reader is exposed to the stark contrast between the lush, exotic landscape and the poverty and deprivation of its inhabitants. The descriptions of the bayou, the wildlife, and the small-town community are rich and vivid, transporting the reader to the setting and immersing them in the story. The author employs a range of literary devices to explore the complex relationship between the sisters. The elder sister, whose name is not disclosed, reminisces about her childhood, revealing her close bond with her younger sister, Celia. The two sisters were once inseparable, but their lives took very different paths, leading to a breakdown in communication and a long period of estrangement. The author uses flashback sequences to show how the sisters' relationship disintegrated over time. The elder sister recalls how Celia's beauty and charm made her popular in high school, while she was left feeling left out and unimportant. This resentment festered over time, leading to a breakdown in communication between the sisters. The author also employs symbolism to illustrate the sisters' relationship. For example, the two sisters are compared to two trees growing side by side in their childhood, but later in life, their roots grew apart, leading to their eventual estrangement. This metaphor is powerful, as it captures the deep sense of loss and sadness that the elder sister feels as she revisits the region and reflects on what might have been. Throughout the story, the author explores the theme of memory and how it shapes our perceptions of the world. The elder sister's memories of the region are colored by her own experiences, both good and bad, and this shapes her perception of the place. For example, she remembers the warmth of her grandmother's kitchen, but also the poverty and hardship of the community. Her memories of her relationship with Celia are also colored by her own experiences, and this affects how she views their relationship in the present. The author also explores the theme of loss, both personal and communal. The elder sister has lost her connection to her sister, but she has also lost her connection to the region and the people who live there. The region, too, has suffered loss, as the natural landscape is threatened by development and environmental degradation. The author uses this theme of loss to create a sense of melancholy and longing throughout the story. In conclusion, Deep South is a powerful and evocative portrayal of family, memory, and loss. The author's vivid descriptions of the Deep South transport the reader to the setting and immerse them in the story, while the complex relationship between the sisters is explored through a range of literary devices. Through the themes of memory and loss, the story conveys a sense of melancholy and longing, and a deep appreciation for the beauty and harshness of the Deep South.